Thanks for joining us on this Thursday evening. Gorgeous skies over the Grand Forks area showing up here at our home of economy view. Look at the color there, but it is quite chilly out there. Wind starting to decrease a little bit. And that trend will continue as we head into the dark hours. 12 though at Hector right now. As our temperatures have slipped into the teens and they continue to slide away. 14 at Moorheads Airport right now. It feels like two below zero. So bundle up. It may look uh, quiet, but it's certainly chilly. 10 mile per hour northwest winds in Grand Forks, 14 degrees the temperature. Outdoors, the winds have really subsided out to the west, and we still have some gustiness along the I-94 corridor there from, oh, say, Ottertail County down through Douglas County and in toward the Twin Cities. Brainerd also seeing gusts at times over 30 miles per hour still. So the strongest winds have shifted off to the east, and that's where the active weather is as well. Here's a look at temperatures. We have, uh, well, 9 in Thief River Falls and 10 in Crookston this hour. 10 degrees right now as well in Detroit Lakes. And we do have uh, 14 in Wapiton, Breckenridge, the James River Valley, the warm spot. 20 degrees there. Carrington, you have 19. Factor of the winds, and it's either sign of zero this hour, so a chilly evening across the board. The Blue arrows here indicate winds of around 15 miles per hour with a few gusts higher than that. Notice the yellow arrows here. That's the highlighted area the strongest winds where we have gusts approaching 30 miles per hour. The wind continues to subside. It'll be quiet. We could see some clouds developing as we head through the overnight hours. Well, we will have quiet winds and temperatures will fall, but because of the clouds and a switcheroo of the wind direction as we head toward daybreak, It'll be from the south. That's going to allow temperatures to actually increase towards daybreak in our western counties. So the coldest weather to start the day will be in central Minnesota, where the best chance for the longest period of clear and chilly will continue. Temperatures near zero there. Single digits for most of the rest of us, a few teens to the west. Now, warmer air riding in on these south winds is going to ride over the top of this cold air, and I cannot rule out a renegade Friday flake in the forecast. Nothing substantial and our wind speeds won't be as strong, but it will get a little breezy as we head into the afternoon from the south and southwest. Here we're seeing in blue 15 mile per hour winds with a few gusts a little higher than that. That's pretty quiet by today's standards where wind exceeded 40 miles per hour. Temperatures rise into the 20s and even some 30s. Check this out. Best chance of 30s south and far west as we go through the afternoon, increasing sunshine as well with the exception of our central Minnesota counties, still a fair amount of cloud cover there. Temperatures in the mid 20s for much of central and western Minnesota. The evening looks quiet. The wind will pick up a little bit out of the south, but that's actually going to allow temperatures to stay steady into the night hours and set us up for a beautiful weekend. Six in Fargo at 6 a.m. with about a six mile per hour wind. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's eight. Uh, my bad. All right, as we go through the day, stair step things up mid 20s and then we park it there for the better part of the afternoon and evening. Even with clear skies, those south winds will get a little stronger. A few gusts over 20 miles per hour, keeping temperatures on the mild side heading into your weekend. 27 for your snapshot forecast in Detroit Lakes, a degree better Valley City and Devil's Lake. We will see a chance at 30 in Breckenridge, Wapiton, also down towards Gwinter, Sisseton, Britain, South Dakota. 33 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Now check at your seven day planner. How about the weekend? Lows in the 20s, highs in the mid, maybe some of us in the upper 30s. Does it continue? You betcha. Well, it's all hearts on Monday as we'll have 33 degrees and even more hearts on Valentine's Day. 34 degrees, but then, oh boy. Yep, we have a change in the weather coming. We're keeping our eyes on it. Looks like a wintry mix and cooler weather behind it. We'll keep you posted. Some areas could get some measurable snow, but eh, it's a long ways out there. That's right. Yeah, Folks we knew this good. wasn't spring yet. <laughs> yeah, no, we have not. To... I haven't heard from the uh, what is it? The uh, the prairie dog forecast for spring mm -hmm. to start. We we'll need our own version of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks. Thanks Hutch. Yep. Still ahead on Valley News Live at six, we'll show you how local law enforcement are preparing kids on what to do in case of an emergency.